I'm Jennifer Morris for Howdini. We'd all like to live a healthier lifestyle, right? Whether that means getting more exercise or kicking a nasty habit or losing weight. But how do you get started? You know, what do you do? Um, we're back here with Trisha Calvo, executive editor of Shape Magazine, with some more helpful hints. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Um, so you have a half plate rule. Can you tell me about what that is? Yes. I think for health or weight loss, one of the most important things you can do is fill half of your plate with fruits or vegetables at every meal. What that does is it helps keep your calories under control and it also ensures that you're getting plenty of fiber, phytochemicals, mm -hmm. vitamins, and minerals in your diet, which help control all your risk factors for diseases like heart disease, cancer, and it can even keep your skin looking wrinkle-free and smooth and healthy and glowing. So what about the medical piece? A lot of people don't go to the doctor enough or they make appointments and they break it. What, what do you think about that? I think that you, you pick a day, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's your birthday, and I think that that's a great day for people to, to sort of take stock of their health or another year older. And I think that what you can do is you can sit down and you can say, okay, this week I'm going to make all of my doctor's appointments. I'm going to schedule a screening with a dermatologist for my skin cancer check. I'm going to get a mammogram if I'm a woman. I'm going to schedule my gynecology appointment so I can get my pap smear and my checkup. I'm going to schedule my physical. Now you obviously don't have to go to the doctor all in that week, but if you take an hour one day and you just sit down and you make all of the appointments over the next couple of months, you'll have it in your calendar and you will make sure that you are getting the preventative care that you need to catch a problem before it becomes a real problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, lastly, what about downtime? And we're, we all live such busy lifestyles, it's so hard to find downtime. We are so busy and stress, increasingly research has shown that stress has become a factor in a lot of diseases. Everything from, from catching a cold to developing cancer to developing heart disease, even depression. So it's very important to take time for yourself during the day. And it can be just anything that you enjoy. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be like, oh, I need to get a massage, I need to officially relax. It can just be, you know, I love my dog. I'm gonna play, ten, play with my dog for 10 minutes. I'm just gonna make that my coming home ritual. Or I love, you know, historical fiction. I'm just gonna carve out 15 minutes a day to read something that I really, really enjoy. I personally, I am not happy if I am not reading a novel that I'm really engrossed mm -hmm. in. And I just make sure that I have one in my bag at all times and whenever I have a couple of minutes, I just pull it open. And it, it makes me happy and it relieves the stress. And I think that everybody has something special like that that they love. I mean, it's nice to think of it in small increments because I think we get overwhelmed yes. with looking at the whole picture yes. when there are just small things you can do throughout the day. Absolutely. So what about exercise? Is that is there Walking similar things? Walking is one of the best exercises and you can do it anywhere and it's easy to do and it does. you don't have to be a super athlete to be able to do it. 10 minutes. Just How take many calories 10 minutes. can you burn in 10 minutes? A 145 pound woman, if she's walking briskly, about 100. Amazing. Yeah, so you really, you, you gotta kick it up a little bit to mm -hmm. burn that many, but um, brisk walking is great for your heart. Even slow walking is good for you. It's good for your health, it's good for your weight control. You know, the, obviously the more you can walk, take the stairs mm -hmm. instead of the elevator. Um, walk to appointments, get off, you know, park your car a little bit further away from the entrance to your office or the mall and walk. Even those little things during the course of the day add up. Thanks. Uh, more great advice from Trisha Calvo, executive editor of Shape Magazine. I'm Jennifer Morris for Howdini.